Hi, today we're going to see how to create a band text effect in GIMP. So first we need to create a new image, go to File, New. The image width is 1920 and the height is 1080, press OK. And now press the minus key on your keyboard to zoom out like this. And now we're going to create guides here. So go to image, guides, here, new guide by percent. The direction is horizontal and the position is 50%. Press OK. And now let's create another guide. Go to image, guides, new guide by percent again. And then change the direction to vertical and the position, keep it 50%, press OK. And now we're going to use the gradient tool here. Select the gradient tool. Let's change the foreground color. So click here. Let's take a light gray here, this color. This one here. The HTML notation is CCC8C8, press OK. Make sure the gradient is FG to BG RGB and the shape is radial. Just move the cursor to the middle and then just trace your gradient like this here. And now press enter to confirm. And now let's change the foreground color to black here. Click on these two squares here like this. And now take the text tool. And I'm going to change the font here to impact here. So I'm just going to click here, impact condensed. Here it is. And now just left click here to create a new text box. And now let's type our text here. So I'm going to delete it and type it in capital letters like this. So here. And now control A to select all the letters here. And now let's change the size here to 600 and then press enter. And now let's select the alignment tool. Click on the text layer here. And now let's center it horizontally and vertically like this. So here it is. If you want to remove these squares here, just select another tool here. So here, as you can see, and now we're going to use the rectangle selection tool here and now go to view. Make sure the snap to guides here is activated, is checked. So here, and now let's make selection of the upper part of the text here. So as you can see here, it snaps to the guide here. Here it is, and now press enter to confirm the selection. And now we're going to increase the selection, go to select, grow. Here, increase it by two pixels, press OK. And now press Control C to copy the text here, layer, and then Control V to paste it. So as you can see, it's floating selection. So click on this icon here to paste it on a new layer. So if I hide the text layer here, so as you can see, Here's the upper part of the text. So I'm going to hide the upper part. I'm going to name it here. Double click on the name. Let's name it upper, press enter. So let's hide it. And now select the text layer here, this one. We're going to make another selection with the rectangle selection tool here, like this. And now just click here and then drag. As you can see, it snaps to the guys here, press enter. And now we're going to do the same thing. We're not going to increase this selection. Just press Control C to copy and then Control V to paste it. So here again, it's floating selection. Click on this icon here. So here it is. Let's hide the text layer. So here's the bottom part of the text. Double click on the name here and then let's name it bottom. So here, press enter. And now we don't need the text layer, this one here the original one, so press the X icon here to delete it. So here it is. Here are our upper and bottom layers. And now we're going to create select uh, to create guides from, from the selection here. So now we're going to use the rectangle selection tool. Check the expand from center here. So here, and now move the cursor to the center and then just trace here like this. So I'm going to, to create a selection here, I think. So here, it's okay here. Here it is, press enter. 
and now go to image here guides new guides from selection it will create guides from the selection here so go to select none to remove selection so here are they and now let's create other guides here so move the cursor to the center again so we're still on the rectangle selection tool and the expand from center is checked so here and then from the center here we're going to create guides here like this so we're going to i'm going to create them here so we're here like this so maybe i'm going to raise it like this and now press enter and now again go to image guides here new guides from selection and now go to select none and now we're going to use the perspective tool here this one here select it and then press the plus icon here to zoom in like this so here as you can see we are selecting the upper layer click on it and now click on the triangle here like this so we can move the window so here and now we're going to move this handle here to this guide here like this make sure to follow the dotted yellow lines here so here and now let's move the window here the perspective window here and now let's move the left handle this one here move it same time here uh, same thing here sorry so make sure to follow the line here the yellow dot line here and then as you can see since we check the snap to guides the handle here is going to snap to the guide and now just click here transform to confirm the perspective transformation so here it is and now press the minus key on your keyboard to zoom out and now let's select the scale tool here left click on the upper layer this one we just use the perspective tool on it here so as you can see here the chain icon here is linked so keep the shift key down while dragging from one handle we will scale it from just one side here so here like this so here it is and now press enter to confirm the scaling so now we're going to use the perspective and scaling on the bottom layer select the bottom layer here press the plus key on your keyboard to zoom in like this select the perspective tool here left click on the bottom layer and then just drag this handle here to this guide here this one make sure to follow the lines here the dotted lines now let's select the left handle here just drag it like this so here follow the lines here again so here it is and now press enter to confirm the perspective transformation and now select the scale tool left click on the bottom layer so here as before the chain icon here is linked so keep the shift key down while scanning we're going to scale it up so here from this handle and then just bring down the handle like this so here and now press enter to confirm the scaling and now press the minus key on your keyboard to zoom out and now let's remove the guides here go to image guides remove all guides so here and now i'm going to put images inside the these layers here the bottom and upper layers i will put the link of the images in the description box i will bring this one here here it is so here it is now let's hide the upper layer here so like this and now let's place the image layer here under the bottom layer this one here and then select the bottom layer and reduce the opacity here so that you can see the image select now the image now we are still on our scale tool select the scale tool here left click we're going to scale it and now keep the control key down to scale it proportionally make sure to cover all the layer text here so the bottom layer so here i think it's okay and now click scale and now select the move tool and now we're just going to move the image here inside so we keep what we want from the image here so here make sure to cover all the uh, all the bottom layer here and now select the bottom layer here right click on it here 
alpha to selection it will make selection of what's inside the layer here and now let's hide it select the image layer this one here right click on it add the layer mask here and then check the selection layer mask press add so as you can see just cut the selection from the image and now here right click here on the layer and then apply layer mask here it is and now go to select none to remove the selection so here and now we're going to do the same thing for the upper layer here this one here let's bring our second image here so this one here i'm just going to drag it to gimp here or like this so here and now convert it so as you can see the image is quite big so we're going to use the scale tool and now left click on the layer the image layer and then as you can see here the chain icon here is linked so click here on the width and then type the backslash here and then three it will divide the width and the height on three here at the same time and then press enter so here it is and now let's confirm the scaling and now press the minus key on your keyboard here select the move tool and now let's move the image layer here down here press the plus key on your keyboard to zoom in here and now select the upper layer here reduce the opacity so that we can move the image inside so here for the bottom layer here uh, this one here we don't need it anymore this one here can delete it press the x icon here and now let's show the upper layer again and the image again and now let's move our image here so that we keep what we want from the image here so here i think i'm going to keep it like this here so now the same thing as before select the upper layer right click on it alpha to selection and now hide the upper layer select the image layer right click on it add the layer mask and then check the selection layer mask add so here it is it kept only the selection from the image and now right click here on the image here apply layer mask and now let's remove the selection go to select none and now let's show the layer here the image layer the bottom one here so here it is and now we can delete this one here the upper layer here press the x icon here so we just need to keep these two here and now press the plus key on your keyboard to zoom in so as you can see here we need to move the upper layer so we are on our upper layer here this one here press the control key here to move it in the same line here while moving it so here it's okay here now press the minus key on your keyboard to zoom out so here it is and now hide the background layer click on the eye icon here right click on the upper layer the image layer here the first one new from visible so here it is and now let's show the background layer again so here the we don't need these two images so press the x icon here so like this and now just show here click on the eye icon here to show the upper layer here select the upper layer and now we're going to add shadow here to this layer go to filters lighten shadow here drop shadow now increase the opacity here a little bit so here increase the opacity here so here i think it's okay and now press okay and now press the minus key on your keyboard to zoom out here and then right click here the image layer the first one new from visible so here it is that's how you can create a band text effect in game thanks for watching have a nice day and uh, till next time